Hi, hello, what's up? Welcome to my channel. Welcome to today's video. I'm Laura Ren Taylor, and in today's video, I'm gonna be talking to you guys about my Kindle Unlimited TBR. Now, about a month or so ago, I did make a video about owning a Kindle and why you should buy one. That video has recently popped off and has amassed a little over a thousand views, which for me and my channel is huge. I've never ever had a video reach that many views before. I've maybe had one video a long time ago on an old channel that I don't use anymore, maybe reach 250 views. And at the time, I thought that that was my peak. But now I actually have a video that's reached the 1000s in terms of views. I went from having like 30 something subs like a few weeks ago to now having almost 100, which I know the first 100 subs is always the hardest to get so this is absolutely like insane so i figured i'd capitalize on that kindle content and bring you guys my tbr for kindle unlimited i know in my last video about owning a kindle i did mention my goal was to buy less books i have since bought like 30 plus books i think since that video was posted a month ago but hey i got a hold of book outlet again uh, i have a book of the month subscription none of this video is not sponsored by anyone but these are just services that i actually use of my own accord so like i said i have book of the month i got a hold of book outlet and um indigo's a thing so i just i gave in however i am at this point on a book buying ban, so I have to make use of my Kindle Unlimited subscription if I want to get new books at this point in time. So without further ado, let's just get into it. I do this every time. I always say, let's get into it. And then I'm like, but wait, follow me on Instagram and every other social media like TikTok, Pinterest. I'm at Laura Ren Taylor on all of them. Now let's get into it. Actually, before we get into the books that are on my Kindle Unlimited TBR, I do want to talk a little bit about my Kindle and the specs because I actually didn't talk about that in my other video, which you think I would have, but I don't know. For reference, I have the Kindle Paperwhite 11th generation, which I believe is the 2022 version. It has eight gigabytes, which from what I heard of, eight gigabytes gets you like a thousand downloaded books. I figured that's pretty good. If you wanna spring for the 16 gigabytes, then by all means. I just don't think they offer 16 gigabytes in certain colors. And it also depends on your country. I also live in a country, not the United States, where they don't sell Kindles with ads. I realized after watching a bunch of like American booktubers talk about their Kindles, they talk about, oh, I don't wanna pay the extra $20 to get no ads on my Kindle. And I was like, that's a thing? That's an option? I kind of wish I had ads because then it gives you suggestions on new books to get. And you don't have to spend all your time constantly looking through the Kindle Unlimited library trying to find books to get. With the type of Kindle I have and with what's available to me, you can set it so, you know, it shows the book cover that you're reading. So currently I have The Serpent and the Wings of the Night. I was actually able to acquire the physical indie published hardcovers at my local Indigo, which is amazing because I recently learned that Carissa Broadbent is having these books traditionally published through the tour publisher, like through one of their imprints, I can't remember which one, but the indie published versions that I have are soon going to be out of stock and not be sold anymore. So it's cool I was able to get a version that will be rare soon. So I'm really excited about that. And once I finish my current read, which is Divine Rivals, I'm gonna jump back into this and then it's gonna be a fun time. But until then, what was I gonna say? Until then what? Well, until then, I'm just, I'm gonna make this video and talk to you guys about the other books I wanna read on Kindle Unlimited. There we go. Okay, now let's get into this freaking video. It'll take me way too long to make, Jesus. So first on this list, you may or may not be surprised that this book is on Kindle Unlimited. You might say that about a couple of the books I am talking about today because I was surprised too. I've known for a while, Flawless by Elsie Silver is on Kindle Unlimited and so is the rest of the Chestnut Spring series. I don't know if her books 
are traditionally published or not, but I have seen them being sold in Barnes & Noble and I think some Indigo. It's hard to say because these days it's possible to be an indie published author and have your books end up in brick and mortar stores like that. Point is, it's a book I'm really excited to get to. Everyone's been talking about it. It seems like a really great small town summery read. There's cowboys, which is not the kind of thing I normally go for that in hockey, ice hockey romances. As we will learn with this TBR, I've thrown that all aside and, and decided to try new things. I've decided to move a little bit to the, this side so that way I can like show the book covers more easily on the screen without covering my face because everyone needs to see this. Oh God, let's move on. Hello, editing me popping in here to say this video is a whole lot of me being like, I don't know what this book is really about, but it seemed interesting, just as a warning. Enjoy the video. So next book we have is A Daughter of No World by Carissa Broadbent. Broadbent. <laughs> she is also the author of The Serpent and the Wings of Night uh, duology, which is the duology that I just talked about. Uh, so this is also a trilogy. I think The War of Lost Hearts book one. I'm pretty sure it's a trilogy. I just naturally assume everything's a trilogy these days because that's usually a safe bet to make though. With fantasy books, it could be a hit or miss in that area. Anyways, that's a book I'm also excited to get into. I do enjoy Crystal Broadbent's writing style. I think the problem I had with The Serpent in the Wings of Night is just that I only had an ebook, and I am someone who do, who does, who does <laughs> like to go back and forth sometimes. So now that I do have the physical copies of the uh, The Serpent in the Wings of Night uh, duology, or The Crowns of Naxia duology is actually called. Now that I have the physical copies of those books, it'll be easier to jump back and forth. Next we have The Housemaid by Frida McFadden, also a thriller that's been going crazy over on Book Talk. Everyone's talking about it. Seems like a very suspenseful book. Uh, and we'll see. Thrillers, like I recently read A Good Girl's Guide to Murder and I really enjoyed that, but there have been other thrillers where I'm like, this is a little too intense. That's where thrillers can be a hit or miss for me. It's just, if they get too intense to reveal, it's mm. like I get into a cycle where I, like, I can't read the book at night and then that's kind of a problem because then I just like, there are days where I just don't want to read and so I never end up reading the book. So we'll see how it goes with The Housemaid. I'll let you know. The next book is Too Hot to Handle by Tessa Bailey. I think this is one of her older books. But it's on Kindle Unlimited. I didn't realize she had any books on Kindle Unlimited, but I've heard great things about her writing and her romances. They're usually pretty spicy, which sometimes I'm in the mood for, sometimes I'm not. It, it really just depends. But I don't know the plot of this book. Uh, I know with The Housemaid, it's about a girl who becomes a housemaid and then she gets locked in a room and then she has to like spy on the family through the peephole, which if you've seen the cover of the book. The next book is a hockey romance, which again, never thought I'd ever put on my TBR, but I also bought Icebreaker like a couple months ago. So take from that what you will. Not too sure about what this book is about, but it's also been everywhere, mainly on Bookstagram. I haven't seen too much of it on Book Talk, but that might change. It's obviously about a hockey player and a girl doing hockey things, I don't know. Um, but it seemed interesting enough. Then we have Queen of Roses by Briar Boleyn. I didn't even pick up this book because like the plot sounded interesting, although it does after reading the synopsis. But the author's name really caught my eye. Like, I don't know if that's a pen name or not, but Boleyn, like Anne Boleyn, is one of my great fascinations when it comes to my Henry VIII rabbit hole. Her and like that whole situation really fascinates me. I think I mentioned this in my last video that I posted at the time that I filmed this, my most recent book haul video. I talked about one video being about Elizabeth I by proxy, her mother being Anne Boleyn. I just find all of that, the Tudor England to be very fascinating. This is so going off the rails, but I think you get the idea. The author's name really caught my eye. And then I read the synopsis of the book the main character's brother is the king, and I think she's been promised to the goddesses when she comes of age, so I think she's supposed to be sacrificed when she reaches a certain age, and that's her, you know, like the book is about her trying to fight back against her brother and trying to, you know, not get sacrificed, because I'm sure she doesn't want that to happen. Next we have If He Had Been With Me by Laura Nolan. I keep wanting to say Nolan because that's how it's spelled. 
but I'm pretty sure it's Nolan. I'm told that this book is kind of sad. Some people say it's not, but others say they like bawled their eyes out when reading this. So I'm like, maybe I'll fall somewhere in the middle. I usually cry in books when something happens to an animal. I'm a little mythical or real like, obviously it depends if it's fantasy or not. I tend not to cry that much, but if an animal does get hurt, which this is a new addition to Kindle Unlimited. So I feel like some people won't know that this is actually on there yet. Um, it was advertised as being new to the Kindle Unlimited store. Now, when it comes to the next book, I had no idea that this was on Kindle Unlimited either. And it might also be a new edition. I have no clue how long that book has been here, but that book is The Summer of Broken Rules by K.L. Walter, Walther? Let's go with Walther. This is the book where I believe it has a ton of Taylor Swift references, which is cool. I'm not like a huge, huge Swifty, but I'm enough of one that I feel like I can appreciate the references to a certain extent. I figure why not give this a try, hopefully before the summer ends. It all depends on how fast I'm able to read these books because some people are able to zoom like right through. Um, those people probably don't have like attention deficit issues like I do, but I'm still really excited to get to this book, even if it's like fall, maybe in a way I can like use this book to reminisce. The author just published another book that has a really cute cover, similar style to The Summer of Broken Rules, and I would like to get to that, but I don't know if it's on Kindle Unlimited yet, so we'll see. The next book is Baby Moon or Bust by Ava Hunter. It's about a main character, I cannot remember her name, <laughs> who gets pregnant, I think after a one night stand, and then she's not really into relationships or anything. And I don't think she tells the baby daddy that she's pregnant with his baby. I guess close to when the baby's about to be born, she goes on a baby meal like people do sometimes. And the baby daddy just like shows up and he's like, I wanna take care of this kid and then they have to figure out how they're gonna raise the kid together. And I'm assuming they fall in love at some point. So I feel like that'll be a fun one to get into. Like, I feel like sitting by the pool, reading this on the Kindle, like, you know, with a summery drink in hand, like a refresher from Starbucks, I feel like that's a whole vibe I'm really excited to get into and to experience. So hopefully I'll get to that. And then the last book is Heartless by Elsie Silver, which I believe is the second book in the Chestnut Springs series. I talked about Flawless at the very beginning. This book, Heartless, is the second book to that book. I think you guys know how series work at this point. I'm not too sure what that book is about. I think it follows the brother of the guy from the first book and so do the second and fourth book. No, so do the third and fourth book in this series. Uh, I think the fifth one is coming out at some point and that'll complete that series, I believe. And then the last book is supposed to follow like the friend of the brothers from the first four books. Well, that was fun and a little stressful, not gonna lie, because this is like my million time filming this video. This is going to be the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, and to do whatever the hell you want in life. Make sure to click the little bell next to the subscribe button to be notified anytime that I post. Hope you have a great day whenever you're watching this and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.